Hey everybody, how's it going this week? What's really crazy to think about is that I am now going into my senior year of college. It seems like yesterday I was playing Foursquare on the recess playground back at elementary school, and now today I'm going into my last year of education, potentially ever. I want to give you guys a little bit of an idea of how it feels going into your first semester of college versus how it is going into your last year of college. Wow. I'm from relatively small town Maryland, and now I'm going to huge city New York, but like biggest city in the world, New York. I was super excited. I was super ready to leave. I was at this point in my life where I was like done with my parents, everything they said annoyed me. I'm still kind of there at some point to some extent, but it was really bad back then. I was super ready to get in the car. I was saying goodbye to all my friends, but I didn't even think about missing them at all. I was just kind of like, you know what? We're just going to get in this car. We're going to go. I got all my stuff in the back. The whole car is full. Let's get going. Let's go to New York. But I have a video of my ride with my parents on the way there to college to move in for Welcome Week. Look at that. Look at that. How do you feel? Dad, yes. how do you feel about me going to uh, Colegio? I feel wonderful. Oh, see? I feel wonderful. Wonderful? I feel tremendous. Sad. Tremendous and sad. No, no sadness, just jubilation. <laughs> jubilation. This is a time for celebration. <laughs> do your jubilation dance, Dad. Do a jubilation dance. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> this is my family. Um, if you don't know you or you're not familiar, Welcome Week is the week before classes actually start, where all the freshmen move in. They kind of get oriented into what they're doing. They have a bunch of mandatory events that they have to go to, and they really might, they learn what it's like to be a college student as much as we can teach without like going into experience. I remember going there and moving all my stuff in, and then my parents just left. And I still remember that moment when I was hugging goodbye to my parents, and I was all cool, calm, and collected, and my mom was crying, and that feeling for the first time in my life of, oh, I'm alone. Terrifying. It's something that I had to go through. Like, everyone has to do it, and everyone does do it. Some people don't do it as graceful as others, but, you know, it was really scary. I went up to my room and I kind of sat there for a little bit, for maybe like a good like 20 minutes. And like, I don't know what to do at this point, because I didn't know anyone yet. And I didn't know anything about what it would be like to be going to school yet. I had all my stuff set up in my room, but that was pretty much it. So it was kind of my comfort zone. I eventually decided to go down to one of the events that was in the dorm. It was not until I went and signed up for intramural volleyball that I was really able to kind of get an idea of who was gonna be a good friend for at least the first part of my college experience. And there was this girl named Jessica who I met online on Facebook because she was looking for people to be on her team. And I remember bragging to everyone about, oh, guys, I I was, I played volleyball all the time. Like, I never did a team, but you know, the only reason I didn't make the team was because I had other commitment. Side note, the reason I didn't make the team is because I fucking suck at volleyball. There was this girl on our team that was being super pissed that we weren't doing well, and it got to the point where every time I lost a point, I was just dancing. Because I was doing everything wrong, and I knew it. But that was really the gateway. It, it broke down my barriers with this girl, Jessica. Jessica invited, invited me to go hang out with some friends. I met their friends, then I met those friends so on and so forth, and those people became my friends for pretty much the entirety of freshman year. Through the first semester, everything is so much easier than you think it's gonna be. I mean, classes are still hard, and classes are ridiculous, and classes are a bitch, but like meeting people, making college work, it's so much easier than you think it is. Such an eye-opening experience, and the first semester of college feels like uh, just as long as the whole entire sophomore year for me, because in my sophomore year, I, was, I had it in control. And my dad's favorite saying is, half the battle is showing up and with college it's really true that once you get in there and get going and just let yourself be open to whatever college has to offer for your first year you'll get a lot of help and you can ask for help wherever you need it and they'll give it to you moving forward into senior year i'm i'm chill like i've been in this city for three years and now i'm going into my last semester i kind of have an idea of exactly what i want to do for my final semester i woke my roommate up 
Um, <laughs> just this huge difference between going into my first semester and going into this semester, which is my last. But for anyone who's currently freaking out, being like, oh, I'm going to college next, next week and I don't know what to do, I don't know what to think, calm down, take a deep breath, you will get through it. All you have to do is, like, let it happen. Don't pull yourself up in your room, just go out there and take a risk on an experience. And people, especially the beginning of freshman year, are extremely excited to make new friends and that's exactly what you're doing and so you're making new friends and they're making new friends everyone's making new friends everyone's gonna be more open to meeting new people don't be scared like it's it's gonna be such a big experience if you go in there with the right mindset of i'm gonna let this happen and i'm gonna fully engage myself in the college experience you're gonna be fine i hope this helped anyone who is going through this kind of I'm unsure about what my future holds with college kind of experience, even if you're not going to NYU. But if you do have any questions for me, put them down in the comments below. I'll give you my best answer that I can give you. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up or subscribe. Yes! I'll see you guys next week. Until then, bye!